silver mark of freedom, his spirit was born. Thara, they named him Thara. Like the wind, like the wind that is free. Thara, they named him Thara. To be king of the bush, his destiny. And ancient trees runs the ghost like horse so proudly, silent as the breeze. Thara, they named him Thara. He's the son of the wind, strong and free. Thara, they named him Thara. And the king, yes, the king. Strange how even things you are used to can scare you when you're in the mood to be scared. And after what Boon Boon had gone through when captured by Charlie's father, she was still very wary. Oh. It's okay, Boon Boon. It's okay. Nothing to worry about. If you don't confront your fears or find a way of beating them, they can stay with you for a long time. Thaura knew this, which was why he was so worried about Boon Boon and why he was searching for a safe haven. Like anywhere, the high country was full of things that could frighten you. If you let them. <gasps> Thaura, be careful, that big rock! What about it? It's swaying, it's gonna fall! It's not gonna fall, Boon Boon. That rock's been there ever since I can remember and it's never moved. You're still frightened after your capture and... Sarah, look out! <laughs> How do you like that? That rock's been there for thousands of years and... Urella! Oh, uh, sorry, Thaura. I was just looking for you when I bumped that rock. But I'll come right down. And... No! Don't! Yeah! Are you alright? I think so. No bones broken. You gave us quite a scare. At this rate, poor Boon Boon will never get over being captured. I'm sorry, Boon Boon. I didn't mean to frighten you. The sooner we can find a hiding place where men on horses can't reach, the better. Boon Boon will never stop feeling frightened until there's somewhere she knows she's safe. Let's find it quickly. I've been looking. Let's see what the three of us can do. Let's try down the south ridge. Come on. Getting impatient, Echo. <laughs> Won't be long now. The last snow should have gone and we'll head up to the high country now. Getting jealous, Golden, eh? Well, you can't come this time, girl. You're not ready yet. You're not fully recovered from that wild boar attack. Maybe next year, when you're fully healed. <laughs> Still pining for your mate, the Silver Brumby, eh? Well, I'll tell you what. This time, I'll bring him back for you. You can both be together. Might stop you moping.
Don't be relaxed while you're drinking. Trouble's on the way, is what I'm thinking. Hi, Mopoke. What's up? Golden shouted a warning. I think you should hear. The man's on his way again, I fear. The man? What? Did you actually see him? The man and his horse just as large as life. When he comes to the high country, he always brings strife. Strife indeed. I wonder if he'll ever give up trying to capture me. He'll come when the snow melts just as long as he can. It's become an obsession, that silly man. Well, you're right, Mopoke. And I'd better start thinking clearly if he's on his way. I still have to find a safe hideout. And I'm still worried about Boon Boon. I'll check out the man's hut and see if there's any sign of him yet. You don't know any secret hideaway, do you? Ooh, hiding out is not my game. I close my eyes. It's much the same. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Mopoke. Right now, Bindi and Worry, pay attention. The key to survival in the bush is stealth. Stealth in both your hunting and eluding those who may be hunting you. Hunting us? But who'd want to hunt us? Well, firstly, you can be bitten by a poisonous spider or a snake, but if you leave them alone, they should leave you alone. What else? The eagle is a great danger. There's nothing an eagle likes more than a nice, juicy dingo pup for his dinner. Uh, and uh, what else? Man is a danger. We can outrun him, but we can't outrun a bullet from his gun. Oh. But enough of that for now. I'm going to give you both a hunting lesson. Follow me and stay close. Keep your eyes open for a nice, juicy frog. They're particularly delicious this time of year. Follow me. There's nothing an eagle likes more than a nice juicy dingo pup for his dinner. It's that other pup of mine, Warai. No sense, that one. One minute he was right behind us, next minute he's gone. Lost again. Maybe I could help you find him. I was on my way to check out the man's hut, but that can wait. Oh, that'd be great. Thanks. W we picked up his scent, but it mysteriously just stops right here. It's as though he simply vanished into thin air. Hmm. Strange. But all we can do is search. I'll get the others to help, including Mopoke. He can carry out an aerial search. Baby Dingo! Baby Dingo! Yoo-hoo! Baby Dingo! Baby Dingo! Baby Dingo! Away! Uh, oh, I think I hear something. Huh? What? I can't hear anything or see anything. This part of the bush always seems to be obscured in mist. Yes, there it is again. It sounds like Warai. Thara, Boon Boon, over here. We may have found him. Bindi, come back. Come back. Just 
fallen over the edge, but I can still hear him. Oh, no. Did you see the bottom? How could he survive such a fall? And what about Warai? How could he have got down there? Oh, I don't know. Nothing makes sense. Yes, it does. <gasps> Bindi! Where did you come from? I... I saw you fall. Don't worry, Mum. I'm not a ghost. <laughs> Just follow me. Bindi, no! But is it safe? I'm as safe as a frog in a pond. What do you think? Bindi seems safe. But it's up to you. Okay. Here goes. Mrs. Dingo, are you all right? No worries. Come on down. There's plenty of room. No worries? I like to see where I'm jumping. It must be all right. I'll go first. No, you don't. I'm no weakling. I'll go first. A ledge obscured by the mist. But just look down there. A whole valley. Hidden. Always hidden by a veil of mist. Hmm. And look at that. I can see how Bindi made his way back up. A path to the top. Yep. And look down there! A path to the bottom! Amazing! A secret valley! <coughs> Warai! I can hear him! See? What did I tell you? At least there's nothing wrong with his vocal cords. I can hear him, but I still can't see him. It's the echo. It carries his voice. Come on, we better go find him. Careful, it's very narrow here. Better suited to mountain goats than horses. Ha! No problems! Whoops! Yeah! Bindi! Ouch! Did you hear that? It sounded like a canopy? Oh, what's going on? Can't a wombat be safe anywhere? Oh, uh, sorry, Mr. Wombat. <laughs> I guess I slipped. Bindi? Bindi? Mom? Get off me head! Whoops! Oh. oh, no, not you lot again. I left the ram's head to avoid having possums drop on me head. And I'll get a dingo pup on my head instead! Wombat! Good to see you. How have you been? We missed you. How's the family? Thanks for saving Bindi, Wombat. We can always count on you. Mm, thanks for saving Bindi, Wombat. But enough of this nice stuff. <coughs> get out of my way. Wombat, before you go, we're looking for Warai. Have you seen any sign of him? No, certainly not. Not all dingo puffs just come dropping out of the sky, you know. Look out below! Hey! Oh! Oh! What's going on? What's going on? Oops! Sorry, Mr. Wombat. Thanks for a safe landing. Were I? Where did you come from? Oh, we've been worried sick, searching all over. Sorry, Mum. I. I just kind of went off after a butterfly, then suddenly it turned into an eagle and whisked me off into the air, and the next thing I knew, I was in this bird's nest up there! Hmm. I suppose the important thing is you're safe. Typical. Typical! He's safe and I've got a sore head. How did you get in here, Wombat? Through the entrance. The proper entrance. Where is it? Not telling. This is my secret valley. I saw it first. <laughs> you can all clear out, the lot of you. Uninvited guests. Bah. Tara. Boon Boon. Aye. Mrs. Wombat. Baby Wombat. It's great to see you. And you do, Tara. <laughs> all of you. Hello, Dingo Pups. Great to see you. We can play together again. 
Well, it looks as though Warre may have found our secret valley for us, Boon Boon. Yes, a safe haven in times of trouble. But I must go, Thara. I'm feeling better now, really. Well, it takes a while to get over the sort of shock you've been through, Boon Boon. I think I'll go back to my family, Thara, just for a while. I think they'll look after me. Besides, I've got so much to tell them. I'll come with you to make sure there are no men about. I'll be right. I'd feel better. All right. <laughs> I guess we'd better make sure we recognise the way down here in case we need it again. Unless Wombat wants to tell us about his entrance. That's for me to know and you to find out. And good riddance! Better leave me here, Thara. We're right on the edge of my father's territory. Okay. I don't think this is the afternoon to tempt the Brolga. <laughs> Take care. We've got him this time, Echo. His concentration's elsewhere, and we're upwind. Come on. If you go to the trouble to observe your rear. Huh? Blast! Gee, thanks, Mopoke. Where would I be without you? Where, indeed. It's a mistake to rely only on speed. Why didn't I sense the man was there? I must be more careful in future. Still, at least we finally discovered a secret valley. A secret valley? That's well found. Now that should be your target ground. Just what I was thinking, Mopoke. Oh! Yeah! Yeah! Sorry, Mopoke! Gotta go! Use your magic to the most! Disappear, just like a ghost!
what? Oh, no! 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 Why would he do that? Why jump? It's certain death. Hurt him, Echo. What a waste. Such a beautiful, noble horse. Sounded like the silver brumbier. Or his ghost. <laughs> Thara! It's really you, not a ghost. We heard you'd leapt to your death. Not this time, Benny. And we've discovered a secret valley. I'll bet the man thinks you're dead. Well, that's what I wanted him to think, and it worked. Now perhaps I can be free of him. Free as the wind. <laughs> so Thara and the others had found their secret valley. And they had their new secret. That the ghost horse was not really a ghost. It was their secret, their protection. They would not tell a soul. But the time would soon come that there were others who had to be let in on the secret. With the trappers being forced by the high country creatures to beat a hasty retreat, it would not be long before the mountains would seem free once again. Free of worry, free of care, free of danger. The creatures would soon be able to return to being themselves and enjoying their lives. Especially the youngsters. But even freedom, when care is set aside, can have its dangers. Got anything? Just a few good specs. 
Not duds like that last one. I wondered where you'd got to. Thought you were supposed to be giving me a hand. Been in the bush, wondering. Seems nice with those trappers gone. Anyway, it'd be better with them gone. I just lose track of time when I'm out there. Yeah, it does that, the bush. Glad it's got into your bones, though, Charlie. You'll never regret having the high country a part of you. Never. Well, you can know it like the back of your hand and still get lost. I'm careful, Grandad. I remember what you've taught me. Anyway, I've made so many friends among the bush creatures. I think they'd see me home all right. Yeah, maybe so. Let's hope we never have to find out. Now, stop talking and give me a hand. We've got to earn our keep. Where are you? Well, come out. There's things to be done. I'm waiting. I'm tired of... Oh! What's this? Something big and soft. <laughs> Oh, what's so funny, ghost horse? You! You're always complaining about us getting in your way. Now you're in ours. Yeah, out of the way. Out of the way. Orphan foal coming through. <laughs> uh, don't be cheeky, Urella. Have some respect. <laughs> Sorry, Thara. Sorry, Wombat. Well, so you should be. <laughs> and I'm still looking. What are you looking for, Wombat? Baby Wombat keeps wandering off for long stretches at a time, usually when there's some work to be done. Well, he's growing up, Wombat. It's only naturally she'd want to get about on his own for a bit. When you were young, you must have... Never did. Baby Wombat, <coughs> get over here before I... He's wa not here, Wombat. Nowhere around here. What would you know? You're only a foal. I can see, Wombat, and I'm higher up than you are, and he's not here. Yeah. Well, if you're so smart, you find him. I'm going home. Can I try and find him, Thara? Can I? Maybe another time, Urella. You're still a bit... Ah, you're great at giving advice. <laughs> Pity you don't take some of your own. All right for my baby wombat to wander off, but not your orphan. I can do it, Thaura. I'll be careful and I won't leave any hoof marks and I won't make any noise. Oh, please, Thaura. All right. The baby wombat is probably on his way home right this minute. But you can never have enough practice at tracking. Off you go. <laughs> typical. Typical. Not far now and it's good riddance to the high country forever. I see no danger. Last one to the creek's a rotten egg. Did he say a rotten egg? That's what he said, a rotten egg. You're wrong! Bottom of the escarpment. Blimey. That's the way those trappers were headed. Trappers! Charlie, be careful! <laughs> I do 
tell you something, sunshine. If you don't turn up soon, when I catch you, I'll... Eh? Eh? Oh, now what? One of them pesky dingo pups in trouble again. <laughs> Always a crisis. Typical. Typical. No one round when you need them. I suppose poor old Wombat's gonna have to see what the matter is. That'd be right, yeah, that'd be right. <laughs> Oh no! What happened? It was the monster! The blue monster! <coughs> He's alive! Alive? Oh, awesome! I thought... Yeah! We both thought... He's alive, oh. but he's pretty knocked about. We're going to have to get him back to his family. Any ideas? Uh, no. I don't think so. No. Hmm. Maybe Thara could help. He knows everything. You stay here while I try and find him. Hmm, <laughs> bit grotty. Not up to Karawong's usual standards. But I suppose beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> Well, what I wouldn't do for a... Hey, what's this? So, the blue monster's escaping the high country, is it? Well, it's not going to get off that easily. Halt! <laughs> I order you to stop and apologise for all the mischief and mayhem you have caused. The mighty Brolga has bronchitis from the dunking you gave him in the river. Did you hear something, mate? Nope, not a thing. Oh, uh, if I could just scream. And I'm the fastest, and the smartest, and the strongest. And I, and I can leap huge gullies with a single bound. Hey, Yorella, what's the rush? Sorry, Arrow, can't stop. It's an emergency. I've got to find Thara. Thara? Emergency? <sighs> I would have thought by now, Yorella, that you would have realised that I'm the one to see in an emergency. Thara's no good in an emergency. Spends too much time admiring himself in rock pools, that sort of thing. Now, uh, what's the emergency? It's Baby Wombat. He was hit by a blue thing on the road. Oh, dead, hey? Well, that's easily fixed. Just leave him there. No, not dead, but injured. We've got to do something to help him. Hmm. And what was the great Thara going to do? Give him the kiss of life or something? <laughs> I don't know. But I'm sure he'd think of something. Well, I'm sure I can think of something better. But I probably should check on the situation firsthand. So, lead on, my fine young Brumby. I'll follow you. <laughs> As you can see, they can't get along without me. Catch you soon. <sighs> No doubt about it. You were quite right, Yorella. Baby Wombat's been hit. Yes, but what can we do about it? Well, uh, um, I, uh, I could grab him by the tail with my teeth and drag him back to his wombat hole. <laughs> no, Arrow, no. He's been hurt. He needs to be treated with care. I knew I should have found Thaura. What? Now that's just a load of... Oh, no! Hey? Baby Wombat, what happened? A Brumby Hunter! Run for your lives! Ah! Oh, you poor thing. You've been hurt. Good day, boy. Your friend doesn't look too good to me. <laughs> We've got to get him back to my grandfather. He may be able to make him better. 
I'll just test his weight. I'm not going to be able to carry him home. He weighs a ton. I'm gonna have to think of something else. Any suggestions, boy? No? What about you, pups? Hmm, this requires some thought. Oh, I've got an idea! <laughs> typical, typical. You try to find a dingo pup in trouble and the stupid whippersnapper stops howling before a wombat can find where he is. Can't find where baby wombat is either. Not a particularly good day. <laughs> Where's that coming from? Oh, what do you expect? There's always someone who's prepared to laugh at another's misfortune. But at least those pesky trappers are nowhere in sight. Now it's safe to fly across. <laughs> what kind of tree is this? Not a leaf in sight. Uh, I get it. These aren't trees. Something man-made, in fact. Another intrusion into the high country. Shocking, simply shocking. <laughs> outrage! Outrage! Man-made lightning bolts! Outrage! <laughs> What's going on over there? Oh, what a wait! <laughs> steady, boy, steady! I know you're not used to it, but it'll be all right. Now, with a bit of luck, I'll be able to walk Baby Wombat home. See if we can do it. Come on, boy, let's go. What in the name of blundering brumbies is going on? That's it! Good boy, good! That's the way. That's the way. Now I've seen everything. Hey, look over there. The old jetty, my favourite fishing spot. Got to see the sign, mate. There's no fishing. I've been fishing here since I was a kid. Takes more than some dopey new sign to stop me. <laughs> oh, let's get over there. Mm. Oh, I can't see a damn thing. No dingo pups, no baby wombat. Wouldn't like what you saw anyway, even if you could see. Hey, see what? What? What, 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 what? Your son, on the back of the orphan foal, kidnapped by a man. One of the little ones. Kidnapped? Another trapper? Could be. Didn't get close enough to find out. Killers, all of them. Ran me over, in fact. I'm going north for a rest. You sort it out. Sort it out? What's going on? Kidnapped? Hey, hey, you come back, Carolong. Hey, hey, come back here. <laughs> That'll give the old sour for something to think about. <laughs> An injured wombat riding a horse. Oh, what a fight! Hey, now what's this? Not more noise to disturb my bliss. Uh, g'day, Mopoke. Uh, you haven't seen a rather nice-looking filly about, have you? Kind of nice colour, big brown eyes. Now, her I have not seen, but a wombat riding a horse this way has been. 
A wombat riding a... <laughs> well, now I've heard everything, Mopoke. What kind of berries have you been eating? If you care to proceed with stealth, you'll be able to see for yourself. No, I've got more important things to do than listen to this rubbish. See you later, Mopoke. It's just as well Arrow should go. But I better find Thaura. He should know. That wasn't right. That definitely wasn't right. I don't think that man thing is supposed to be walking with our friends. I'm sure Baby Wombat is not supposed to be riding on Urella's back. Perhaps Wombat said it was all right. Do you think so? Oh, I don't think so. Perhaps we should tell him. Perhaps we should. You see, it's just the way I said. The baby's hurt, but at least not dead. It's just that... Well, it's just that it's not right. Well, I never. Who'd have believed it? Hard to believe, I must agree. Quite a surprise, even for me. Well, sorry for not believing you, Mopoke. Let's keep them company for the rest of the journey. Good idea. Now I've seen everything. Ooh, baby wombat injured. We'll look after him. That's a relief. Now baby wombat's in good hands. Wombat, are we glad we bumped into you? Oh, we just saw Baby Wombat riding on Urella's back, believe it or not. Well, lying, actually. Oh, yes, lying, precisely. Lying on the foal's back, and we said... No, 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 cut your cackling. I know this already. Oh, you do? You do? I do. Didn't you hear me? You got feathers stuck in your ears as well. Mm. What I don't know, you prattling nincompoops, is where he is. Oh, he never asked that, did he, Mew? Oh, certainly not. Not that. If he had, we would have said the old prospector's hut, wouldn't we? Oh, we would. Well, why didn't you? Now, out of me way. <laughs> oh, uh, emus, emus, you haven't, um, uh, seen any sign of a nice young filly, have you? Big brown eyes? Uh, nope. I guess, uh, well, I'll just keep looking. There, there, I won't hurt you. Just got to find out what's wrong and where. <laughs> Sorry, fella. All done. Yeah. Bit of shock, I reckon. Saw leg and a sore head. Pretty lucky, really. But he's growing up now and they're tough as rocks, these wombats. Whatever collides with them often gets more damage than they do. So he'll be all right? Ah, fine. We'll just let him rest up and feed him for a while, then send him back into the bush. There you are, boy. Did you hear that? Your friend's going to be better soon, thanks to you and the dingoes. <laughs> Speaking of which, this foal's friends appear to be waiting for him. Come on, fella. Off you go. He's all right, Wombat, and he's in good hands. The old prospector helped one of my children back to health once. He's a good man, Wombat, and his grandson takes after him. You've no cause to worry. Oh, well, worrying's what I do best. <laughs> we know that, Wombat. Hi, everyone. You were very brave, Urala. Wasn't he, Wombat? Oh, I suppose so. And full of trust to let the boy get so close to you. Ah, oh, he saved my life, Benny. I can trust him. And you saved Baby Wombats. I suppose you'll be wanting to thank your Allah Wombat. Wombat? Hey, Wombat! What? Oh, yeah. Well, oh, he did quite a good job for a Brumby, I suppose. Oh, thank you, Wombat. But it's good to help friends. No, I can't hang around here chatting all day. I've got to get home and tell Mrs. Wombat that there'll be one less for dinner. <laughs> <laughs>
You've been fishing here since you were a kid, eh, mate? Well, we've been here an hour and not so much as a nibble. Oh, patience is a virtue, mate. That's what fishing's all about. Patience? Oh, it's pretty hard to be patient, mate. Hey, have you noticed the way this jetty trembles every now and again? That's as solid as a rock, this jetty. I told you I've been here since I was a kid. <laughs> oh, no! 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 Not me, you! Me, you! Me beautiful, you! This is the last time I go fishing with you, mate. <laughs> So Baby Wombat was in very good hands as he settled back to enjoy a few weeks of being spoilt as he waited to recover from his accident. And there was another treat in store, organised by his father. But it wouldn't turn out quite as it had been planned. 